video i discuss about the network method for assessing the impacts of a proposed project at a given location as we know there are several methods for assessing environmental impacts and it is necessary to adopt appropriate eia methodologies out of the ad hoc method checklist method matrix method network method overlay method factor analysis cost benefit analysis simulation method and many more in my earlier three videos i discuss about the ad hoc checklist and matrix method now i discuss about the network method now what are the features of network method network method is an effort to analyze the series of environmental impacts that may be caused by proposed project activities like other methods so it is an extension of matrix method this method helps in exploring and understanding the underlying relationships between environmental components that produce higher order ch changes that are often overlooked by simpler approaches like ad hoc method checklist method identification of both direct and indirect impacts with short term and long term impact impact is the crucial and basic step of making a network diagram in the form of a tree called an impact tree the impact tree is also used to identify cause effect linkage at different levels although it appears to be a quantitative as there are some estimations or calculation of magnitude and importance but it is a qualitative in nature because the value may vary from expert to expert from individual to individual now i discuss about the development of conceptual model of network method the, the first step i have to identify the first order changes in the environmental components and the secondary changes in other environmental components that will result from the first order changes are then identified and in the third step third order changes resulting from the second secondary changes are identified and this will go on and the process is continued until the network diagram is completed to the practitioner's satisfaction so this is our conceptual model of impact uh, network so here is the project activities and accordingly we have to identify the primary impacts and the secondary impact resulting from the primary impacts the tertiary impact resulting from the secondary impacts and the quarterly impacts from the tertiary, uh, tertiary impacts like way now i go for more concrete discussion so how will you create impact tree if there is two project activities say a and b and from this project activity we have identified we have to identify the primary impact first and then the secondary impact resulting from the primary impact and then the tertiary impact resulting from the secondary impact so like we have to create an impact tree and in this particular case you can say see that this is a one branch two branch two branch three branch four branch five branch six branch seven branch eight branch nine and branch ten so the branch resolution is like that but there is a chance of uh, repetition so we have to very careful the uh, to uh, weeding out the repetition 
because if for this branch 1 and branch 2 we have to uh, calculate this like one branch and from branch 6, 7 and 8 we have to calculate and uh, taken as in like branch single branch from here here and here this will create a single calculation of these three branch so we do not take this uh, these and these for two times so I will show you in an example later uh, how will you calculate the network model so this is the step two step three assign the probability magnitude and importance for each activity or the impact of this chain and step four calculate total environmental impact score by using this formula so now we go for an example say this is a matrix where uh, four actions are there and which results the primary uh, impact secondary impact and tertiary impact so this is a one branch and this is the second branch but we do not take this as a third branch or this is the fourth and this is the five so there is five branch actually but we have to calculate this one this is the first branch this is the second branch and this is the third branch and say action a for if considering a, a mining project say action b is tree felling which results e is the increased surface runoff resulting flooding h and resulting gulling and erosion if we uh, th uh, say uh, assume that a is the abstraction of uh, groundwater which is called f cause f that is the pollution of groundwater then degradation of water supply and the tertiary impact is the health hazard similarly if uh, d is the excavation of pits which in turn cause the removal of topsoil that is G and then decreased fertility and death of product and the excavation of it also results in E that is increased runoff flooding and erosion there is a uh, this uh, activity has impact on uh, on surface runoff and C that is the construction of whole road Hall road is also impact on on the removal of topsoil. So now, if we uh, assign magnitude and importance in a scale of one to ten against this impact E to M, so we have assigned magnitude value and the importance and the probability of of these uh, impacts against the against the activity here so just I recall this slide here and if I calculate branch if I calculate the score for branch one so this is F into L into M so F is actually f is 2 into 5 so i have to calculate f that is magnitude into importance and then into probability and this probability value is 0.5 because this f is caused by a so this f due to a is 0.5 so the branch one is for f part we have to use this that is value of f as magnitude and importance 2 into 5 and then probability and for i i have to go for i here 
is 2 into 9 so use 2 into 9 and i due to f the value of i due to f is 0.6 so i multiply d to 0.6 and then for l the value of l in terms of magnitude and importance is 2 and 10 so i multiply 2 with 10 and the l due to i is the value of l due to i is 0 0.9 so i multiply to 0.9 so the branch one's value is 33.8 for branch 2 again we have to uh, see this is e e the value of e is the magnitude is 5 and importance is 3 so i multiply it into 5 into 3 and e the value of probability due to of e due to b is e due to b is 0.8 so i multiplied it 0.8 again this come from d so e is uh, 2 in 5 into 3 5 into 3 and the value of e due to d the value of e due to d is 0.7 i multiplied it 0.7 and h H is 3, 4 into 5 and the probability of H due to E is uh, 0.7 so I multiplied this point. like way K is taken and the value of branch 2 is has come 21.51.2 uh, uh, similarly I calculate for branch 3 and so the the grand network index is 106.2 so likewise we have to calculate the mm, uh, network method and the indexes so it has some values what I we have discussed that we have some values so uh, it may it, uh, it, it, it appears as a quantitative uh, approach or quantitative method but it is actually a qualitative because this is not fixed these values are uh, may vary from expert to expert so this is subjective so this is a qualitative approach so like every other method it has also some advantages and disadvantages and the advantages is uh, the interaction between activities and impacts uh, is displayed this method helps to trace direct or higher order impacts in a simplified form direct and indirect impacts are considered and this method provides better understanding for non-technical audience so this method helps to follow the chain of events of development projects and its associated impacts and can assess multiple impacts at the same time identifying links that can be easily overlooked in the checklist or matrix form of impact assessment but there are also some drawbacks it, is, it becomes very complex and messy when used beyond this simplified form this method does not establish or quantify the magnitude of relationship or extent of any change of impacts a lot of impacts tends to be repeated and a great care is required to develop the tree by weeding out repetition which I have discussed earlier and in order to identify all levels of environmental impacts considerable time and knowledge of environmental conditions of the study area are required impact identification is hence inadequate and subjective that is completed completely qualitative in nature so for more details you can read these references thank you thank you for watching this video